On the coast of Havana, Cuba, lies an old stadium called El Estadio de Jose Marti. Here, hundreds of Cubans meet up in the evenings to play soccer, baseball, and volleyball. While baseball is Cuba's national sport, soccer has started to become increasingly popular. Daniel Vargas plays soccer at the stadium and explains why it has grown. So right now, young people would rather play football than soccer, uh, than uh, baseball. I mean, besides, it's uh, cheaper to play uh, football than baseball. To play football, you need just a ball or stones or whatever, and that's it. Then if you're going to play baseball, you need bad balls, uh, baseball gloves, so it's pretty much more expensive. Cheaper equipment is one reason for soccer's rise, but Cubans, according to Vargas, have become infatuated with Spanish soccer on television. Many Cubans either root for FC Barcelona or Real Madrid, two of the most popular teams in the world. The problem with soccer in Cuba is that Cubans are not allowed to become professional athletes. This leads to many players to defect from the country. One of Cuba's best soccer players is Osvaldo Alonso, who currently plays for the Seattle Sounders of Major League Soccer. Alonso defected from Cuba in 2007, and since has become one of the best soccer players in the United States. Sometimes they rather go to the States to, you know, when you're playing a certain kind of sports, you just, uh, sometimes you hit a wall because you're not playing against the, against the best teams or the best guys in that world. So sometimes they just try to go to the States and try to play the best teams and the best, uh, the best players. Besides, uh, money is also an issue. So here they don't get paid. They go there, they get paid. The rise of Cuban soccer is evident. In 2012, the national soccer team won the Caribbean Cup for the first time. Soon, we may see more Cubans playing soccer at the highest levels internationally. Tenzin Chopel, Murrow News, Havana.